Hi, my name is Clint Wilde, and I'm a LifeRay Portal Architect with Extivia. Today I'm going to show you how to create attractive article pages using out-of-the-box LifeRay components. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you specifically how to use web content structures, templates, application, dis temp application display templates, and the asset publisher portlet to create really nice, professional, dynamic article pages. So to start off, I'm going to show you one of the pages I've created, and then I'm going to create use the same concepts to create another uh, another page right here on the on the demo. So the first page is a so this is a bungalow site. It's for bungalow enthusiasts who want to show off their favorite bungalows. And I'll, you'll, you'll see this first page is a page that shows the image and some other information about each bungalow. Uh, the first page I have. Sh also has has uh, paging. You'll notice that you can go back and previous or previous and next on each one of these pages. And uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to create another page. But before I do that, let's go to the back end and look at the content. So here's the content that I've created. And I'm going to show you the way I created that was through sites. So go to um, go to sites and web content, and then at the top you'll see this manage link and click on structures. And here you're going to see bungalow, which is the structure I created. A structure is basically the definition of all of the fields for a specific web content. And you can see that I created this structure that has these different fields. Um, to add another field, if I wanted to, I just grab it, drag it over, and drop it here on the palette. And then I can configure all the different values for it. This is pretty normal, standard, um, you know, GUI editing. So I'm going to delete that and cancel this. Um, the next thing is templates. Now, template is how the data from the web content is displayed on the page. So let's go to templates. I've got one bungalow template here. And the one of the main things here to know is that when you create a template to specify which structure it uses. And that is important because the template needs to know what fields are available. So coming down here, you'll notice under fields, you'll see the same fields that I have created in my structure. And I have uh, clicked on each one of these, added a little tiny bit of formatting. All I did is added VR tags, pretty much. Um, if I wanted to add, let's say, the photo again, I would just click on it, and it show it it uh, puts this this tag here with the free marker um, scriptlet right here, so that I I get my photo right there. So let's delete that. I don't need to change anything here, but just to show you, you get, you have general variables here, which are out of the box. You have fields that came with your structure, and then different utility classes here. So we're going to cancel this, and let's go ahead, and now we're ready to create content. So the content is, um, we're going to create the content in a different site. I created the, the structure and the template in the global site so I could reuse these on other sites if I wanted to. So let's go to back to bungalows now. And bungalows is another site I created just for displaying the articles. And I've already created all these all this content here. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these articles. So you can see that you can see all the fields that I've created in the structure. I filled out this form here, and under categorization, this is where you define the tags. And I have I'm using two tags, modern bungalows and ultimate bungalows. And if I wanted to add another tag, I could, but I'm just going to keep this as modern bungalows. Cancel that. Now I've got all my content created. Now the next step is to create my application display template. This is the application display template defines how the the articles will be displayed on the page. So, and I created those in my global site. So let's go back to global application display templates. 
and I get to this page and notice this page there's different types of application display templates so if I wanted to add a new one in my case I would click a asset publisher template because that's what I want to use I'm using the asset publisher portlet so I've already created these two let's go ahead and look at the bungalows basics here um, I am using free marker so we're going to select that and this is the template code here uh, so at the top you I've just got some utility classes that I'm using and then I go through a loop so basically what's going to happen is I define the which which articles I want to be used and they're fed to this display template and I define those which articles I'm going to use in my asset publisher portlet I'll show you that in just a minute so what you need to know here is that this template application display template gets a list of entries so we're going to check um, go through we're going to define um, the entry the asset re asset register and the class name we're going to make sure that it's a journal article and then we're going to we're going to pull out the values so you see we've got the entry entry title view URL article and then the document XML everything here is is uh, standard for any article you're going to use after this this is where you actually have to parse the, the XML and pull out the, the field that you defined uh, life Ray stores custom fields from the structure in XML in the database and so um, we pull those out through uh, through SACS, the SACS reader util here and you notice that I've got the photo body so now I have those as variables now I can add those here in my actual HTML inside this loop so here's my HTML and I I've, I've added those here um, another thing is I'm using the lifefree.language uh, macro here and at sign means it's a macro uh, which is basically a function and I've I'm I'm localizing this read more so that's pretty much it for the asset asset display um, template so let's go ahead and go back to the page I've got everything set up now the only other thing I have left to do is create the asset add the asset publisher template to a page so let's do that we're gonna create a whole new page so let's create another page called ultimate bungalows Whoops. Put it in the right place here. And it's going to be one column. Click Add Page. Now we're going to go to Ultimate Bungalows. Now we're going to add the Asset Publisher portlet to this page. Under Applications, Asset Publisher. Now one nice thing about Asset Publisher, by default, it's going to show you content because it's going to grab unfiltered content, uh, meaning it's going to grab everything. So we don't want it to show everything. We want it to show the ultimate bungalows on this page. So I'm going to go here and select under the Asset Selection. I'm going to select Web Content, uh, let's see, Web Content Article. Oh, my page isn't letting me see that so let's scroll down web content article and subtype we're going to select bungalow then we're going to come down here under tags and so basically display any of the following tags we're going to say uh, ultimate bungalow here I'm going to deselect anything else because I don't really care about showing anything else right now save now let's close this and I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. Okay, now you see that we've whittled the list down to just Ultimate Bungalows. Let's go back in and now go to Display Settings and we're going to uncheck this checkbox Show Add Content button. We don't want that to show. And here we're going to select Bungalows with Spotlight. This is another application display template I created that shows three articles on top with a bigger image so that 
they're highlighted as the, the latest three articles. And we're going to go ahead, we'll leave that as 20, leave that full, show full content. We won't have any pagination on this page. Uh, we're going to make this as simple as possible, get rid of all the other check marks here. And then we're going to hit save. Okay, we'll close this. Now you see we're getting closer, but the page still, so now, now you're seeing that we have bigger images, which is what I defined in the application display template, uh, but we are still, the style is still off. So what I did is I took a little bit of a shortcut and I pasted my CSS directly in the page. Um, for production, I would not, uh, for production or any other use, I really wouldn't, wouldn't do it this way. Uh, what happens is you can forget that you have put it in the page and you can spend a lot of time trying to figure out where you put the styles. And so it's better to put them all in a theme the way that we do it as much as possible. And so I'm going to paste that same CSS on this page. Refresh. There we go. Now you see the three spotlight images on top and you see the list on the bottom. So now anytime a new article gets published, it will come here on the left side. And this, this latest article here, the, the, the oldest one, will get pushed to the t bottom of this list here. And I did this all with one application display template and one asset publisher. Um, so this is a great way to, sh to display content. I will be posting this, these uh, articles or this code in the blog post. Thanks for watching.